All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show everybody how to install Final Fantasy VII mods on the Steam Deck using 7th Heaven 3.1.0.0. Okay, to start this installation process, I'm going to keep this in a phased approach, all right, and I'm going to cover absolutely everything that you need to get this working. A lot of these guides online, they misinform or they leave out information, so I'm going to do my best to cover absolutely everything. So the very, very first thing you want to do is install Final Fantasy VII on Steam. You're going to need a copy, install that. Go ahead and install that now. Once that's installed, you can minimize. So by the way, I'm recording everything here off screen. All right, I have my Steam Deck connected to my dock. Okay, so that I can get a clear picture of everything I'm doing here. So I'm using a keyboard and mouse. I, I'd recommend you do that also. It's much easier to do rather than actually physically on the Steam Deck itself. Okay, so once the game is installed, what we want to do next is install three very important programs. You can open up the browser first and you can go to github.com dot access forward slash 7h steam deck dot fix. Now following this guide, as I said, there are some missteps in this guide when I was installing this. So there's some very, very important programs that you need if you're going to get this to work fully. OK, so have that open in the background. You can minimize this. All right. We're not going to do any of that yet. We're going to go to the Discover Center and there are three very, very important programs that we need to install first. OK, the very, very first one you need to install is a program called Proton Tricks. Go ahead and install that. All right. Do nothing with it. Just go ahead and install it. All right. The next program we want to go ahead and get is a program called Console. This will make your life much, much easier for the installation. Go ahead and install that as well. That's basically a console terminal. OK, go ahead and install that. And then the last one, what you want to install is a program called Flat Seal. And this is based around permissions that we will need. So once those are installed, go ahead and actually launch Flat Seal. And then you're going to browse down. And you're going to find console. It's going because console was installed just re recently. OK, and what you want to do is now, if I reset this, OK, I'm just going to reset this for the purpose of the video. OK, these are the default permissions. All right. What we want to do is we want to give the file system permissions specifically for console. We're going to go all system files. I'm going to check all of these here. Check these four. All right. So give it all permissions for its file system. OK, and now you're going to close this. We're done on this. OK, we're done in flat seal. We don't need to do anything else at this point. You can close down here. Now we're going to get back to the actual installation of uh, seventh heaven on the steam deck okay so the very very first thing you want to do is you want to go to code and you want to go download zip okay and then when the zip is downloaded we're going to right click we're going to go show in folder and there it is in the folder so right click this zip file again and go to extract and extract archive here that will create a folder for you go into that folder 7h steam deck okay and you will see the following files simply right click this file here 7hfix.sh right click it and then go run in console now ignore what it says here just go run in console and this will automatically download the latest version of 7th heaven onto your steam deck okay and it'll do it automatically ra rather than you have to manually type the command prompts okay so make sure you have the final fantasy 7 installed which we've done earlier on you can hit okay on this all right, it'll come up with a prompt to say, is your FF7 installed to an SD card? You want to hit no in this case, unless you have an SD card. In my case, I have it installed locally on my Steam Deck drive. So I'm going to hit no, but yeah, yes, if you have it on the SD card. And then you will get this prompt here. Now, don't do anything with this at all yet. All right, leave this as it was. OK, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually open up a session of Steam and we want to add Seventh Heaven as a non Steam game. And we're going to go to browse and there it'll be by default in downloads. Go into that newly created folder and go to 7th Heaven 3.1.00 release. OK, and double click that. You're going to go add selected program and then in your install locally, you'll see it here. Now, I want to do, do a couple of changes on this as well. We're going to go right click and we're going to go to properties. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to just change the naming convention of the shortcut itself. So delete all this crap here, put a little space in here. We want to call it seventh space heaven. Important that you name it that. OK, next thing is go to compatibility. Make sure you use force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool and select the latest version of Proton. So for this uh, installation video and this installation guide, make sure you're using Proton Proton 8.0-2. And that is the one I am using for the purpose of this installer. OK, so once that's done. OK, so we're going to go ahead and hit play. 
and that is going to launch the inst installation of 7th Heaven using the latest version of Proton. Now very very important, very very first off here, do not install it in this default directory. Delete everything here and you basically want to install it to C 7th Heaven, that's it. So, so the root of C drive, 7th Heaven, okay with a space. Hit next, hit next again, don't need a shortcut, just hit next, hit install. Let that install, it'll take a few moments. And once that's installed, okay, you're gonna it will automatically check launch seventh heaven. Don't uncheck that and hit finish. Okay. And what we want to do is then we want to go back to this prompt window here that we left open. At this stage, you can hit OK. Alright. It should say the installation should complete. Close the wizard, hit OK. And then it's gonna say, is your non-steam game named Seventh Heaven? So remember earlier on we named it Seventh Space Heaven. I'm gonna say yes, it is. Okay. And then it's gonna say path detected. Now an important point back to where I was originally and why I said these default installation guides did not fully cover somebody who does not have the following programs installed. They're assuming that you have Proton Tricks installed on your on your Steam Deck. In my case, I did not have it installed originally. So therefore, it kept throwing an error for me looking for Proton Tricks. So the fact is I have it installed and I have the console command given its uh, accurate permissions, I was actually able to launch it correctly. So then you're going to see path detected. Do you want to use this path? Yes. Do you want to copy save files from vanilla FF7? You can if you want. Let this complete. It'll take some time. And then you'll eventually get a prompt saying 7th Heaven Canary has successfully been installed. Restart Steam for a launch in the game. Click save the first time you open 7th Heaven. Run the game once in order to install FFNX. Okay. So uh, before we do anything else, hit OK there. So at that point, what we can do is we can close this console command. We're going to actually exit Steam altogether. So go file, exit, OK, and let it shut down Steam. I'm going to close out of everything else that we've opened right now. We don't need any browser windows open or anything like that. OK, relaunch Steam. Again, staying in the Steam OS for now. And what we want to do then is we want to go back to games, view games library. We're going to go back to 7th Heaven and we're going to hit play. And there we go. First part of this installation is done. 7th Heaven is actually up and running at this point. Now, a couple of things we have to do next. So by default, you, everything is going to be selected here. It's going to detect the fact is FF7 is installed on C drive or hit save. So next important point here is to make sure that you run the game first once. Don't don't try and install many mods or anything at all. Just hit play button and then you'll get a prompt eventually to successfully updated FFNX to version 1.15.0.0 and hit OK. And it's going to launch Final Fantasy VII using that FFNX executable. We, we can close out of it straight away. We don't want to do anything at that point. So again, making sure that you've launched Final Fantasy VII once you have allowed it to do its thing. Then you can close out that session of Final Fantasy VII and then get back to the My Mods Browse Catalog. So hit Browse Catalog and you're going to see a list of mods. Okay, so next phase really is to install the mods and then make some changes uh, for the game driver itself. So I will show you which ones I've installed. So if I go to my mods, so actually, sorry, just before I do that for everybody who people who do not know to install an actual mod, find one and then go over here and hit download selected mod and it'll download it and it'll automatically install it. OK, so it took me quite some time to install all of these mods. It took me about maybe 25 minutes to install all of them because some of them are bigger. Some of them are texture mods. And um, what I'll do is I will show you the ones that I am using, as I said. Um, as a list, so I've got the 60 30 FPS gameplay one. Okay, if you want to go and configure that one first, you can. So go and configure it. I have it set to full 60 FPS. Um, I actually using the Nino style HD animations because um, I am using the Nino style battle models and field models. So, but again, that's up to you to configure that and tweak it. I'm going to set this one here um, and I'm going ig to ignore that. So just hit save on this one. The Battle Textures mod, you can configure this one as well. It's just an on and off. Um, the Nino style one, which will show a list of all the HD field models. Um, and it's up to you whether or not you want to pick them or not. So there's Nino Cloud, Nino Cloud with dynamic weapons. Um, I'm leaving everything as default for those. Uh, the Field Textures one is either on or off, I believe. Uh, yeah, so I just leave everything as default to that. I go to the Battle one if you want. Same thing. I'm not going to touch any of these. Uh, Cosmo Memory, okay, configure this one, um, and this is uh, basically the uh, audio one, 
Okay, so I've left everything as default. What else? Uh, enhance the UI stock. Actually, I did tweak this one somewhat. Okay, so this is the uh, the UI basically for the user interface for Final Fantasy VII. So there's a couple of things that I did done here. I will show you which ones I have tweaked slightly. Uh, the transparency for the text boxes, I actually like it as semi-default. So it's semi-transparent. And that's the original one, if you don't remember, it's always blue. I actually thought this comes across really, really well if you have that. And the other thing is aspect ratio override. So it enables the widescreen aspect ratio during battles for the UI. Okay, I've enabled that one as well. Another couple of things that I've changed. Um, I think that's it on that one. You can save those. Spell textures, so it's not straightforward. It's either on or off. Uh, world map textures, same. And the FMV sequences, so 60, F, uh, 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 60 FPS FM. These are fantastic, by the way. So anyway, that's all the mods I have on. There's also another really amazing mod called the uh, Echo mod. Um, and it actually adds full voice acting to the game. Now, I've not actually installed that one. Look, sorry, it's called Echo S. This is absolutely amazing. This took seven years to make, by the way. But I've not installed that one. The, let's actually launch the game. The four, very, very last step before we do any of that. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to game driver. There's a couple of things here to enable. Uh, so set your resolution here and um, you want to set it to the resolution of the Steam Deck. I'm going to hit auto in this case and full screen. OK, and I'm changing my aspect ratio to widescreen 16.9. OK, um, and just leave anastrophic filtering on. That's what I've done here and I've turned on advanced lighting. And the other thing you can do is go to advanced. Uh, you go to change the music to VGM stream, turn on analog controls and Steam Deck steam compatibility if you want to unlock achievements you need to have this enabled um, and analog controls this is fantastic too by the way cloud actually moves around seamlessly with the analog um, and not in kind of a, an up down left right direction more so in a circular motion uh, so it's really really cool everything else then i left as it was you can hit save on that okay so then at that stage then you're ready to launch so you're going to hit play and then play with mods and i'm going to have to hit new game on this one folks and as you can see it's going to launch up the intro scene now, what I do is skip through to some gameplay real quick. And here we are with the mods installed on the Steam Deck. And let's go up here real quick. Mod Cloud Move. I'm going to get into a real, real quick battle as well. As you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to hit him with the attack. And I'm going to try use a material attack as well. Let's use some magic. And we're going to use Bolt, maybe. That's it, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, as I said. Well, the last thing is if you want to actually return to game mode as well and see how you can launch it from there. It's as it's added as a non-Steam game, it should just be listed in your library, but I show everybody anyway. I'm just going to return to gaming mode, on my Steam Deck, just to prove that to everybody. So if you would like to launch 7th Heaven through the actual game mode itself, you're just simply going to go to the Steam menu. You're going to go to your library. You're going to go to non-Steam. You're going to hit 7th Heaven and hit play. And it should launch also in game mode on your Steam Deck. And there you have it and it'll function the same way yeah uh, that's it really for today's video if you enjoyed this video and uh, you're new to the channel please consider supporting my work by subscribing if you've enjoyed this video do hit a like as well and um, it really helps my content and uh, yeah that's it guys i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching